How's it going, guys? So today I'm going to teach you really quickly how to create some um, like craters or big holes in the ground. Um, it's going to be really fast, five ten minutes most, uh, and you'll see that it is actually quite a simple process to do with with less than ten nodes. Um, I appreciate this is the first time you guys have ever seen all of this in its its infinite glory. Uh, please keep the comments to a minimum in terms of abuse. I haven't been able to get a, a haircut for like three months due to a national lockdown. So I would appreciate if you guys could be kind about um, all of this. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Um, obviously, this only applies to people who've got nodescapes. So let's jump straight in. Uh, we're just going to open up our Nodescapes workspace just by boom, clicking that. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to refresh presets. I just um, start with the base preset, uh, the base uh, base preset. And what I'm going to firstly do is just add a noise node in, and it's just going to be a hetero terrain. Give it real easy. Uh, and we're going to add like a math node in afterwards. It's going to be a multiply math node. We're going to set it to like 0.5 and we're going to set the noise scale pretty low because all we want is just a little bit of shape essentially um, and then the next thing we're going to do is add another noise in and it's going to be uh, Voronoi F1 we're going to control shift left click to view this and it's 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 insane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a um, math clamp, and we're gonna clamp the. First of all, we need to get that into a um, remap. So we need the value map and remap zero to one to bring the bottom of it to zero, uh, the Z zero coordinates. And then we can go back to this. We're gonna bring the max down until we clip the top off of the clamp. So we're gonna bring the maximum of the clamp down until we clip the top off like so. And then we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Shift and duplicate that. Bring that in. We're gonna view it again here, but this time we're gonna change the scale of the noise to something a little bit Higher. Put a remap in, shift duplicate the clamp, and we're going to bring the maximum of this all the way down. We want to um, sort of bring this up because we don't want that to be as 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 deep. This one's not too bad, um, but this one there far too sharp. So what we're going to want to do is probably add a, a map range in, which is under value mapping. We're just going to fiddle with these until we get something that we're, we're happier with. So maybe increase the max, the from max. Um, can we increase the... Yeah, we can increase the clamp again on that now. So these aren't as, as sharp anymore. Uh, we're probably going to need to bring that right up. Set it to like five. So I've set mine to five just to bring these little nubules down. And then what we want to do is we want to actually now uh, add, subtract these two together. So we want this um, and this to be on top of each other. So we're going to go to math. We're going to just add a mix math in for now and see what happens. And then just control shift, left click so we can see that. Okay. So if we go to add, what happens? Okay, our add sort of puts the craters inside the craters but it's like surface level if we have a multiply not much happens what if we swap them around again not much is happening um nothing on the absolute that was wrong uh subtract let's try what would happen with a subtract so they're the wrong way around and as you can see that's just not right so we're probably going to end up sticking with add for now and just add the add, add the bottom ones, sorry, to that. Uh, maybe increase the scale of them a little bit so there's not as many. Um, and maybe bring the max down. Yeah, we're going to set the max to 
3.5 for now. Um, okay, so that's looking a little bit bit wild. Um, and we're going to want to get that on this in a minute. So we can do the same thing. We can either add shift and D to uh, add them two together. And this will give us this. Um, alternatively, you can you can try and multiply. Um, but yeah, we're probably just going to stick with add for now. Um, and I maybe want to increase the this a bit more. Um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is add a noise uh, random. Let's have a look at this noise random. It's going to be random. Cool. Down in the set, that's like 0 0.01 or something. 0 0.03, we're setting that to. Um, and we're going to end up adding that to this, just so we can add a little bit of some craziness to it. Um, we want this one to be the top one and this is going into the bottom one because we're adding this to this which gives us control over the amount of stuff that's going on we're just going to set that to like point point one five yeah okay and then after that we're going to add a simulation and this might seem a little bit why would you add this simulation and after that we're going to add thermal erosion in and we're going to set that to like 20 or something so we can break all of this up and then we're going to add another simulation and it's going to be the hydraulic erosion one uh, that's actually going to go down to five because i want that a lot a lot smoother um and then after this we're going to set that to the erosion speed to 0 0.05 set the lifetime to 100 and then add two zeros to the end of that And I may have done that the wrong way around. Yeah, I did. We're not adding the hydraulic erosion to that there. We're adding the hydraulic erosion to this part. So the hydraulic erosion is actually going in there. So this is going to look a bit mad. So you just need to click execute when you've dropped in the hydraulic erosion where you needed to drop it in. There we go. So that's now our created area um probably gonna bring that down to three and three yeah and then review this okay yeah that's fine and now we're gonna go to the end one the thermal erosion which shouldn't be there. We should be on this one. Yep. So let's get rid of that. And that's kind of it, guys. That's that's your pockmarked, um, your pockmarked hills. Now you could probably change the erosion speed to like 0 0.025 so that we don't get as much of this ridging effect. Um, and it would just more around the edges like that um but that's I, I i i like the erosion quite high like that um and then at this point you can kind of like you can add some like uh, rocky bits in i guess would be the word. um so we're probably just gonna get like the hetero terrain from earlier just shift d to duplicate that go over and we're just gonna view it um that's fine we're gonna add a value map and remap zero to one to bring that up above the the zero line and then we're gonna go math snap 
put a snap math in there. Um, and like, yeah, just something like that. And then add our simulations. Um, maybe thermal. There wouldn't really be thermal, I guess, like on somewhere like the moon. Um, let's have a look at 50. Fifty. Yeah. Okay, that's right. And then just shift and duplicate. Shift D to duplicate that from before, and just add the two of them together. Um, Probably might be multiply for this, yeah. Let's have a look. Probably shouldn't really do a uh, Thing after that, but now we can increase this just by adding a multiplying afterwards. Bring that down a touch. So, there we go, we've got some kind of like canyony looking thing, um, and this will scale so you said that's at eight and then the bottom one's at eight for thermal erosion you need a uh you need a size that that is mirrored so it needs to be like eight by eight or four by four or because you get some slight artifact and i don't know if you can see that there that's the thermal erosion not, not happy with what i've just done And I mean, this, this doesn't need to be like the moon. This could be anything. This could be like a war-torn area that's just been bombarded with, with shells, or it could just be a, a crater or a moon or the surface of an asteroid or something. Um, this is just a really fast and quick way to add sort of these crater effects. Um... So I think that's probably that one, guys. What I'll do is I will share uh, this preset in the Discord channel, and I'll link the Discord channel below. That's where our community is. Um, I don't know if you guys or if anyone is aware of this, but we did have a challenge on this month for people to create some presets and share them, and then the winners would get first second or third place prize um they've only been like four five people who've uh, got themselves involved in that and i think we've had like 120 sales or something like that 150 120 to 150 so there's potentially 120 to 150 people that are using this um that haven't got involved in that community um, or aren't even involved in the discord channel where you know people are working together and, and sharing these things so what i will say is i know that nodes themselves like the idea of nodes especially a new system can be a little bit daunting um but it doesn't need to be um you don't have to like worry about learning something because we're here um excuse me youtube creators Huh? We'll just save that and then we're going to come down, grab it, click this little button to export it. We're going to export that preset. Where are we going to export it to? We're going to export it to somewhere. Um, so, yeah, that's that really, guys. Um, I know that, like I was saying, like the, the whole idea of a new node system can be quite daunting. Um, but with 
us as the creators uh, having the discord channel and having obviously the blender market and other ways to communicate um we've got like the chat with us information here and tutorials and documentation report books so you can contact us in many different ways we're always willing to help um so yeah we've got a discord server discord community set up where people are working together and always communicating um don't hesitate to join that don't hesitate to get in touch and ask questions um if you want more tutorials send me send me requests i don't know what to make or what you guys want to make without you guys telling me um so i'd recommend sending me some stuff over if you do want uh, so just drop a comment drop a like or a dislike whether you like to dislike the video um subscribe if you want to don't subscribe if you want to um yeah link will be in the description below for the discord uh, if you've already got notifications just click on the chat with us button we'll take you to our discord server the link will be in the description below for the add-on if you decide to, to 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 pick it up and get involved um it is on a discount at the minute while it's in a beta and then when it goes to full price we've added all the sorry when we've added all of the features that we want to add in for 1.0 then it will go up in price so get in early um yeah that's that one guys i will see you in the next one